Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Isn't this a cute card? Check it out. It's using the new Sweet as a Peach bundle that is in the new annual catalog along with the peach dies. Some really fun, beautiful, actually um, that distinctive stamping that has that real neat um, depth to it with the different um, shading that this happens from the stamp. This card, literally, look how cute that is. It's just this cute little box, little cube right in the middle of the card that makes it turn like this. So it is so easy to make. Now this card was inspired by my friend, Linda Heller. She had um, been asked to do a card and she had seen some directions on mixed up crafts. And so she came up with some pretty neat designs and a way to make this card less bulky by putting designer series paper in there. So she had some fun uh, different renditions of it and I decided to make this card with the peach set. So we're going to take a look at the pieces. Like I said, this is so easy to make. So the first thing you're going to do is start out with a piece to make your little if I, I kind of call it that tower, but it's like a uh, a square instead of a like a toilet tissue round column. So what you're going to do is start with a four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then what we're going to do is just score that. So if it's four and a quarter by four and a quarter, you know, we have um, exactly a square. Now the reason why we're going to do that is it is going to fit into an A2 sized envelope when we do four and a quarter for the height. And then as Linda did some measurements and she just figured out, you know, how to make it fit into five and a half. So that is why we're using the four and a quarter. So what we're gonna do is make, you know, the square has four sides. So we're gonna do one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, and we're gonna end up with a quarter inch at the end. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now you can use anything. This was, um, an old wood grain piece that I had in my scraps, but we have that beautiful and good taste paper. I just didn't cut into a big piece of the 12 by 12 because I had a scrap there. So what you're gonna do is you're going to score this, put that dark blade at the top, and then we're gonna score at one, and then at two, at three, and that is your, oh wait, I'm sorry. And then at four, <laughs> I'm like counting wrong. And then you have that little piece of a quarter inch there at the end. Okay, so then we're just going to make our, now the one thing about this, whatever designer series paper, I went with the wood grain because it kind of is a neutral that matches with all the colors in this um, paper. And with um, that you, you can see that you can see into the inside of the card. So you kind of want something pretty there that's gonna work nicely. So you're going to just score that with your bone folder. You're gonna make it nice and um, defined there. Burnish those ends on each of those one inch score lines that we did. And then one more here. had to get that straight there okay and then one more so we've got our little box we're gonna make there for the inside tower to make it actual the card move around that so what we're gonna do is use some of I'm gonna get out my silicone mat here because we're gonna put adhesive on this quarter inch piece here you can make that four and a half if you want to get a little bit more um, space there but I'm just gonna put this tear and tape and then I'm just gonna kind of roll it on because it's a little bit this isn't tear and tape this is our stamp and seal plus so you want a nice seal on that and I'm just pulling it over here if you use Tombow glue multi-purpose glue the thing that's gonna um, Okay, so then we have the scored here, and we're just going to put this over here, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna make sure we've got it nice and straight and flat. There you go. And where is that bone folder again? 
So now we've made that. Um, if you use glue, it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry. So that's why I suggest either using your Stampin' Seal Plus or um, a stronger adhesive on there. So this is the part that does the magic. And as my friend Linda said, it doesn't matter um, how big this box is. It could be one and a half inches, it could be two inches. It's just the fact that that's the mechanism that moves your card. So here we go. Now we are going to be moving each of these panels. Now these panels here are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And as you can see, I did one panel, two panels, three panels, and four. Now this beautiful paper um, is the, oh gosh, now I am drawing a blank here on the name of the paper. It's probably sweet as a peach because that's the stamp set, but I'm just thinking I might tell you it wrong. And what do you think that somebody who's making the video of it should actually, let's, you're a peach, you're a peach, you're a peach. That is the paper, you're a peach. Um, the person making the video should actually know it before they start the video. So many different <laughs> names, you know, the dies and then the stamp sets and so um, a lot to remember there. So the first one I did is I used Calypso Coral and Balmy Blue and I'm gonna show you how fun it is to make this two-toned little peach here. So let's just start with this front panel here. And the thing that's fun about making one of these cards, no matter what stamp set you use, is you can pick out different images and you can just make a kind of a different vignette on each one of these panels. So I wanted to make this a birthday card. So what I did is I started out with my Calypso Coral. And like I said, that was two and three quarters by four and a quarter. All these measurements are over on my blog. Right after the YouTube description underneath the video, it says visit my blog. Just press that link. It'll take you right over to cindyleebdesigns.com. There you'll see additional photos and any other things I, you know, little tips I want to show you over there. But all the... Um, Items I use, products, colors, will all be in over on my blog and they're also underneath the YouTube video. So here we go, we're gonna be using a scalloped contour die. And I liked putting that there with the border of the color around it. And then I stamped these leaves here and then I popped these flowers in. So looking at this and just drawing the colors out of the designer series paper, to me, it was Calypso, white, blue, and the pear pizzazz. So what we're gonna do is just take our leaves here and we are going to ink them up with our pear pizzazz. Okay. Now, when you're opening up these newer stamp pads, they're not so new now, but a lot of people still have the older ones. You just open them up on a hinge right there. Open them on a hinge and sometimes they're a little bit tight. Make sure they're totally flat and then slide them. If you are, if you try to, um, slide them like the old ones or try to close them, you're going to um, injure your stamp pad and then it may end up going into the garbage. So um, some of them are uh, rescuable and some of them aren't. So just make sure it's flat right there. And then we're just going to ink up this image. Now this image, when you use it for the peaches, I think that it kind of needs to be hanging going down. But then when I looked at it, this way, when I used the flowers, I kind of liked it in the orientation of going up towards the sky. So what I'm gonna do is just stamp those pear pizzazz leaves right there. And then I'm going to use balmy blue to do the flowers. I like that the flowers are all on one stamp together. And I'm just kind of using um, my spots. This was a spot I made before balmy blue came out. And so I'm just going to use my little spot, these spots you can um, make your own with re-inker or you can collect them with your paper pumpkins. So then we're going to put this right in, and like I said, the peaches will fit in here and the flowers do. So the flowers fit in those spots. So I'm gonna see if I can get them to fit in the right way with the video here. Okay, so there we go. We have our blue flowers there. There's also a tiny little center that also goes in the center of this flower. 
and just stamp the same balmy blue and it just gives it some more depth. I love these distinctive stamps. They're so pretty. And then the other thing I did on this one is I threw a couple tiny little pearls on there. Get my little pearls here. I'm still using some of my pearls from my from our old pearl sets. And so I just threw a pearl in the center to jazz up the card there right in the center of those pretty balmy blue flowers. Oh gosh, I sound like Bob Ross, don't I? <laughs> okay, so then we are going to just adhere that to, and since I already put my pearls on, I kind of jumped ahead of myself there. I am just going to put, ah, I'm just gonna put some glue on my, my coral because I know where it's gonna go. So a little bit of multi-purpose glue there gives me a little wiggle room. I'm just gonna kind of center that on that Calypso coral. Now that is my, oh, I gotta put happy birthday in there. I forgot to do that. I hope it's gonna fit because it looks like it may not, but I think it will. So we're gonna do some Calypso coral for the happy birthday. And once again, I'm using my spots. And hopefully it's gonna fit in here. I'm going to put it down towards the bottom of the stitching. And I got a pretty happy birthday there. Okie dokie. So then that is our first panel. Now we're gonna take our little, um, you know what? I think this is, oh, I'm gonna pull this apart because I see it's off a little bit here. So let me, wow, I got lucky there that it did not adhere really strong. There we go, that's a little bit better, okay. So I still have my, my cube here. And what you're gonna do is this one inch panel here, you're going to put some of your adhesive right within that one inch section there. You, the score line is here and that's the one inch section. You're gonna put your first panel I'm gonna slide this panel a little bit. There we go. And you're just going to line it up against that score line. There we go. And that is our first panel. Now we're going to open up the card. This is the next panel. So we're gonna open our card here and you'll see that the next one I did is the um, blue. And so I'm gonna go to my blue here and I'm going to be putting this one onto this section here. So let's just put our adhesive onto that one inch section and put the blue panel on there and it just lines right up against that score line that wood grain that's the tower in the middle. And what I did there is I used some designer series paper. So instead of using the scallop that I did on the first one, the scallop contour die, I used some of the pretty paper um, design in there. And so I'm gonna just pop this pretty peach, you're a peach paper, and just pop it onto this pretty balmy blue. And then there we go, center it on there. And then I used the tags, this cute um, tailor made tags that has the, all the layering tags. And so I just popped that one onto the front of here, but I put on the you're as sweet as a peach. So I'm using all the sentiments that are in this set. So let's find them, you're, I have them all on a tray over here. Um, I love being able to use up all the stamps. It's almost like a challenge to me. <laughs> so I'm going to put that towards the top up here. Hopefully get it straight is the way I'm looking there. Your as, and then we need sweet as a peach. And again, because I'm using some finer fonts, like little detailed fonts, I'm going ahead and using my little spots 
and I'm going to put that down towards the bottom, keeping the little letters as a straight, sweet as a peach. And then let me show you how I made this peach have this um, two-toned effect on here. Now, the actual etching and the distinctive stamps makes a lot of depth depth for you, but I'm going to show you on my envelope how I did that peach. So what you're going to do is take your peach stamp and then I'm going to make sure I have it totally cleaned off here. Okay, you're going to use the pale papaya and that's what I chose because it's one of the colors that's in the paper and I just took my pale papaya and I just inked up the pale papaya. Okay, so we've got pale papaya on the stamp. Then I took one of my sponge daubers and I opened up Calypso Coral. Now Calypso Coral is darker and I just got some Calypso Coral on my dauber. And then I just kind of put it a little bit, like I was just really careful just not to put big circles on it, but I just added a little bit of color to that. And then I can just pop it onto my envelope and look at how you get that two-tone color of like a, how a peach looks. I love that. And then I'm just going to pop on a set of leaves here, a pair of leaves with the pear pizzazz and just put that right at the top there. Okay, and that's how I did the envelope. But on this one, I already stamped these and cut them out, and I used that little trick of um, stamping my peach and stamping my peach, and just like in my last video, I just put a template around the peach when I did that, so I got a nice, and then I put the die into that template when I put it through the my cutting machine, and so that was made it very easy for me. So I just went ahead and put this flat on my card because I'm gonna pop the whole tag up off that panel. See, like, can you just already start thinking of all the different stamps that you have where you can just make this, like, it, it's as easy as cutting those four panels. Okay, glue, there we go. Um, cutting those four panels and just decorating them up with all the pieces that are in a stamp set. So there we go, put that leaf on there and leaves on there and then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of the here we go I got my dimensionals okie doke I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of the tag so two at the top and some at the bottom now let me see here I'm getting down to my little scrappies here. Why not use up those scrappies? They're prepared to do the job for you. So there, those are gonna be my scraps. Now, I shouldn't have taken those off yet because I wanna tell you that I wanna stick, um, I actually had some Calypso Coral twine from back in the day. And so I decided that would be really pretty on this card. So I went ahead and used it. I, um, if since it is retired from a way back, you can use anything on this. You could use white, you could use our linen thread. I just thought how lucky was I that I still had some of this Calypso Coral. And I just thought it looked so pretty. And so I'm gonna put this tag, you could angle it. Actually, I think it does look kind of cute angled, doesn't it? I think I'm gonna angle it on there. Okay, and now I'm just gonna tie a little bow here. And like I said, just use whatever, if you have some matching ribbon, some pear pizzazz ribbon, some uh, light blue ribbon, if you, anything, I think there's, um, I'm trying to think where we have some blue. Um, so we're just gonna pop that on there. We're gonna snip off our, our tails here. We've got a cute little embellishment on that tag. So that is our next panel. Now we're gonna turn over our little cube tower. And the next one I did was just a simple 
a simple um, blue, balmy blue. And it is going to be put right onto this section here. So we're going to put our adhesive right on that one inch section there. And we're gonna put our balmy blue on here. So balmy blue right up along that score line. That's our next panel. And then I'm gonna stamp on this die cut here. And we're just gonna use our Calypso Coral and our Balmy Blue ink, and we're gonna do To A Sweet Friend. And we're gonna see if I can get this actually a little straighter on this card than I did on the sample one. So we've got tiny little stamp, little font. To A Sweet Friend, keeping it over towards the right edge and I went a little bit down again. <laughs> oh golly. And then on the bottom, let's celebrate you. Let's celebrate you. I have, oh, look how big that block is, but I needed all my blocks. So let's celebrate you. And this one we're going to bring over to the left side because we're leaving room on these corners to put these cute little flowers in. And this is just a cute little flower um, trio of flowers that's in the set and just add some fun up to that corner. There we go. And then that is going to go on to our blue panel. And so we're just going to put a little bit of glue right at the top or maybe we're not. Maybe we're just gonna bring out our snail. Anybody that's ready to volunteer to help us complete this card. And then we're going to put that on to our third panel. Now we're gonna flip this panel over and check that out. We've got one piece of wood left and we're gonna put this beautiful blue based background paper here, but we're gonna use Calypso Coral. And so we're going to do our very last section here. Our very last section there of the wood grain. And those are, that's just one inch there. Put that Calypso Coral right up against that fold. When you're making these types of cards, you can just cut a whole bunch of these two and three quarters by four and a quarter, and then you just, just pop them together really fast. And so, of course, the designer series paper is two and a half by four, so that it has that one eighth inch border the whole way around. So we're going to grab um, our adhesive, and we're gonna put that into the center of that card, leaving a nice border, equal border the whole way around. And then I just popped in a cute little um, die from the Stitch So Sweetly dies, just added with all the fun stitching there. And I put in there, um, have a peachy day. So where is that? Have a peachy day. And I just used blue, 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 balmy blue, and then I just put have a peachy day. And notice you're getting all the fun sentiments that kind of um, go together really cute on this card. And you're getting to use almost everything in that um, stamp set. So then I thought, well, why not just put a little of those flowers in there? But you wanna make sure you wipe off your, those little posies that were balmy blue. You wanna make them Calypso Coral now just to give some contrast. And then I just popped, it looks like I didn't get enough on that little one. I just popped those onto that little tag. And then I just popped him up off there. I went ahead and popped that one because um, I didn't wanna have too much dimension on there, but, uh, but I wanted to, since it was kind of a plain panel, it just made a little bit more visual appeal there. So just have a peachy day right centered in the middle of that. Okay, so you can see the card starts out happy birthday. You're as sweet as a peach to a sweet friend. This is where you would write your message. 
and then have a peachy day. But the one thing that's missing are these little panels. And guess what? On this card, they are gonna be missing because I forgot to cut them. But that's okay because I have this sample card. I just used our new embossing folders. They are the um, two of the that fit into our mini emboss. Of course, they fit into the big embossing cutting machine, but they especially fit into the cute little stamp and cut emboss machine. But they have the checks and the dots. So you've got these little checks that have a really nice texture to them here. So it has a really neat texture. And my thought was to put those here, but we can kind of see what those would look like on there. So it has kind of like a basket weave there. And so I'm going to put that on this card. So make sure you check on my blog and see that. But, um, so I just use those. I use the dotty, the little dots on here, but on this one, I made this one, but I forgot to do the other three, but you can imagine. Okay. Let's think of it this way. Like you can see this one. Let's just put adhesive on here and we'll just open it to one section so you can see you could use either one of them i kind of really do think that that um what they're calling checks like checkerboard um, kind of reminds me of a basket peach basket so you could do either one but i kind of liked doing putting a plain one there because it made this the star of the show but yet you don't want to have your card just kind of be blank here you got to put something here so if you don't put designer series paper but the thing about it, this designer paper is you've got so many fun um, different patterns that you can work with in the peach. So you could easily put, what I did is I put this, I put the blue stripe here, and then I put the uh, watercolor stripe there. So you can do a lot of different things here. I'll have um, some really good photos over on my blog of this card showing each panel done so that you can see that because um, since I didn't finish up those edges there. So I hope you enjoyed this card. It's a real simple one. Like I said, you, all you have to do is make this cute little tower here and then it's just like a pinwheel. Looks like a pinwheel and you can just decorate like up any way you know you want. So if you have any questions, please don't has let's turn it this way so you can see that. So we'll we'll fool everybody. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, you can always call me at 724-323-2296. You can also text me there. Show me a photo if you use something different. Like say you use um, you know, seahorses and fish or you use flowers or you use um, the baseball cap. There's so many different things you can do. Also, you know what I did on this card? I don't know if you can tell here, but I put Wink of Stella on my peaches, on my designer paper. I put Wink of Stella on my blue flowers, and I put Wink of Stella on my peach and the leaves here. So it kind of just gave a little bit of glimmer to the paper. But um, once again, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to post on it. Wednesdays and then my I usually put, um, have on my blog like Monday Wednesday Friday posts and then if there's anything special coming up that you need to know about so thanks for buzzing by friends